Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add rewarded ads to your Expo React Native apps. So those are for AdMob. So first off, I'm just going to set up a blank um, project for Expo. Chosen the blank canvas template and I'm going to change into my directory and install the appropriate Expo package. So it's Expo AdMob Oh, Expo Ads Ad Mob. So I go ahead and install that and I'll um, start off my Expo um, app. So they'll show in my little mobile app alongside my code. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is add some configuration. So I'm just going to copy and paste this from the Expo documentation, which I'll link to you. Um, but basically you're going to want to add um, a config, so you're going to want to add a config for Google Mobile Apps Ads App ID, and you'll want to add that for iOS and Android. So it's actually inside this little config um, section within the um, iOS section, so yeah, I'll just copy that. And copy across the app ID. Cool, so now that we've got that, we can do the same for Android. We're going to need that same config, but um, you'll want a different app ID. These are the sample app IDs, so when you're doing it yourself, you'll actually want to go to Google AdMob, set up an account, set up your iOS and Android apps, get the relevant app IDs and add them into this section so that you can serve ads and earn money for them. Um, I'm also going to want to import the AdMob rewarded ads from um, the Expo Ads AdMob package. And I'm going to want a button that I can click on um, to show the ads and platform will allow me to show um, to select different app unit IDs, um, ad unit IDs, depending on whether it's Android or iOS that I'm currently, um, the current platform is. So you're going to want to call set ad unit ID. Um, you can actually set it, have create lots of different rewarded AdMob ads and have different um, rewards associated with them. And you might like randomize it or have it so that people go through certain steps to get to like different tiers of rewards. Um, but yeah, so I want to do a platform select. So when it's iOS, it'll return the value against iOS. Android will return the value against iOS. Um, Android and I'm just going to use some sample ad unit IDs because when you're testing you don't want to use real ad unit IDs because um, Google can ban you for doing that because you're sort of um, viewing ads that they that um, people are paying for so it's not good for their customers I think it's against their terms of use um, so yeah that's why you want to use and the sample ad unit IDs or the test device when you are testing locally but yeah I'm just using the sample ones um, so be, be, it's saying unexpected reserved word await that's because I've called this await function from um, await set add unit ID from within inside my functional um, component so I'm just going to want to create a new function load add um, and it's going to be an async um, function, so I can call await from within it. And I'm going to request an add as well. Then I can go ahead and load that add. It gives you a little warning, that's just because you're not actually um, doing anything, you're not awaiting this load add. Um, it's fine. Um, it won't show in production. So now that we've loaded the ads, we're going to want to add a button so that we can show the ads. 
So we'll give that a title of show reward ads. And on press, we're going to want to show the ads. So we'll go add mob rewarded ads dot show async, show ad async. Yeah, show ad async. Okay, so that's why it wasn't auto populating. It's because I've actually typoed there. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to complete that. Um, yeah, so I need to actually change that to add mob rewarded ad and now when I show reward ad oh, I hadn't loaded yet so you have to wait for it to load um, so now that it's loaded um, I can load my rewarded ad and you can see there's time remaining ticking down in the top um, right corner and it'll tell you reward granted once the reward is granted but we don't know what that reward is so how do we see what that reward is so we can add an event listener so the event we want to listen to is rewarded video user did earn reward and we can just basically pass a function here um, and I'm just going to console log it so that we can see what it is but you would actually do the reward for the user when this happens so we'll count down and if um, the user doesn't dismiss the ad before they get the reward then they will get the reward so there you go We've got the rewards. Up. There's a few there because I was doing some testing. So ignore that. Cool. So what else can we do? You might want to um, load more ads. So you might want to load ads if, you, um, dis if the user dismisses the ad or if the ad failed to load. So you can add some event listeners to that. Um, you can add event listeners for any of these events listed and do whatever you feel the need to do, maybe some logging. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to load ads when the um, ads failed to load. Um, and also when the user dismisses um, the ads. And that's just going to mean that there's always ads available to the user to see. So if you don't have those ads available, then um, you're going to miss out on monetization opportunities. I could have made it so that this load ad took a um, variable, which could have been my um, ad unit ID. And that way I could do like sort of um, where you earn better rewards as you progress through the reward system. That would be really useful for app engagement um, or I could just randomize what uh, rewards people are going to be able to earn um, and maybe the higher rewards would come about less frequently or if they've logged in on like x days in a row they might get a certain reward all of those sorts of things you can do whatever you want you can build whatever logic in you just set up the rewards um, amount and type inside google admob and it'll give you an ad unit ID for that specific reward. Another thing you're going to want to do is um, you've added some event listeners, but you're not actually removing them. So you can actually remove them using the react use effect. If you return a function from that, it's effectively the same as the component did unmount um, function that used to be available on um, the class components and that will basically allow you to do some cleanup so here I'm just going to return a function that will be called on cleanup um, and it will basically just remove any listeners to make sure that I don't have heaps of listeners still existing once my components are mounted so to do that you just go add mob rewarded dot remove all listeners I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial today and if you have please like and subscribe for new content. I'm a new creator and am appreciating all the support I get from you guys. See you guys next time.